In the last section, we started putting together our form that will be used to create a new employee. We'll now work on this a little bit more by setting up some action creators and reducer to handle changes to this form and all the values that it's going to produce. One thing that I want to mention about forms in Redux again is that it is really up to us whether or not we want to hold these values in our component level state. So like, you know, by initializing our state and calling set state or by using application level state. I'm going to make the claim that it's generally generally better to use Redux level state. So, you know, do the whole process full of action creators, reducers, all that kind of good stuff just because it makes doing things like validation uh, prepping the form with initial values, et cetera, all that kind of stuff a lot easier when your data is sitting at the app level state. So we're doing a little bit of extra work now for some big payoff later on. In addition, just one more quick aside, if you've ever used the library Redux form, we are essentially doing more or less exactly what Redux form does here by storing uh, values on our application level state with Redux. So really we're kind of doing the work of Redux form here. Redux form just also happens to include a bunch of helpers for making sure we don't have to write all the code, you know, all these action creators that we're going through. All right, anyways, let's get started. Let's first make some action creators to handle a user changing the value of either the name or the phone number. So that's where we're gonna start. I'm gonna open up my action creators file, so actions index.js, and you'll notice in here right now we've got you know, we got a bunch of actions related to authentication. And so it feels a little bit funky to start adding in some action creator specific to like this one very specific form next to something having to do with like signing a user in, right? Putting all that stuff in one file feels just a little bit off. So I think that maybe we'd be well served to create a new action creator file that will have just the actions related to dealing with employees. All right, I think one, a new file just to deal with employees would be a good idea. So in my actions folder, I can create a new file called employee actions. We're gonna make a separate file for all the actions related to uh, authentication in a little bit too, but for right now, let's just stay focused on this form. So our form is gonna have three fields to it, the email, the phone, and the shift. We could create one action creator to handle a user editing each of those fields like we did with the login form, but I think that maybe it'd be a lot easier to just write one single action creator to handle update any update to the form whatsoever. So one action creator, any update to the form. So let's try it out. I will create a new action creator called, let's do, um, how about, uh, employee form, employee update, that'll work. And I'm going to assume that this is gonna be called with two uh, variables, a prop and a value. So the idea here is that rather than making however many action creators for you know one for each different property that our form is gonna create or different value that the form is gonna create, we're gonna make just this one employee update action creator. Then whenever I want to update, say, the name, I will call this thing with a prop of name and a value of whatever the new name is. If I want to update the shift, I will call it with a prop of shift and a value of Monday or you know, whatever day is being selected. So one action creator that can update any different prop that is being that should exist inside our form. So inside of here, we'll create our action. I'll give it a type of employee update. I'm not, yeah, I'm really not super happy with this uh, type right here and the action creator name of employee update because it's just very closely related to the idea of uh, saving an employee or you know making a change or edit and saving it. If we need to, I think we'll come back and rename this, you know, do a little bit of a refactor, but for right now, I can't quite think of a better term, so we'll stick with this. So then on my payload, I'm gonna pass the prop and the value. Uh, do keep in mind that we're using a little bit of ES6 here. So I'm expecting that this, this action creator will be called with an object containing a prop and a value key. And the payload that we return from this or the payload property will be an object containing a prop key and a value key as well. So again, just a little bit of ES6 here. I did throw in the type of employee update in here, so we'll need to create this type as well. At the top, we will import 
employee update from types. And I'll need to make sure that I actually create this type inside my types file as well. So I'll do export const employee update. And remember the uh, string value here, doesn't matter what it is, it just has to be something unique against all the other types that I have. Okay, so this is looking good. We've now got an action creator that we can call to update presumably our form. We still have to make a reducer, however, so let's toss a reducer together really quickly since we're definitely on a roll here. In my reducers folder, I'll make a new file called employee form reducer. And then inside of here, we will throw in some boilerplate just to get started. I will import the type that we just made while we're thinking about it. So I'll get my employee update type from the actions slash types file. And then we'll toss in some boilerplate for the actual reducer. So I'll start by initializing my state to an empty object. And I'll export default a function that gets called with some, in, uh, some state. And I will default that to initial state and an action. And then again, just the same thing every single time we put in our switch statement over action.type. By default, we're going to return our state like so. Again, just absolute boilerplate. You can copy this chunk of code, you know, the, the last half of this file right here from reducer to reducer, and it's always going to be the exact same thing. All right, this is looking pretty good so far. Let's take a quick break and then start wiring up this reducer.